Uh, so we are finally doing Stack Overflow to Opli. So the the only way to solve this is to use best response functions. And the most important thing to remember is solve follower first. So this is the one important thing that you need to remember. So what I meant is, if firm one is the leader, then you solve for firm two's quantity first. Uh, so the way to do this is again MR two equal to MC two. So MR two. So of course we need to invert this this thing first. I mean the demand function first. So we have P is equal to re revert this somehow, and then we get sixty minus two times Q. So we have total revenue is P times Q, and P is that thing. So P is minus 2 times Q1 plus Q2, because the, the Q is the total output, so it's the sum of these two multiplied by Q. So Q is Q2 here, because we are talking about firm 2. And so MR is the derivative. So we have 60 minus 2 Q1. We need to somehow rearrange this. And you have minus 2 times q2 squared. And when you differentiate this, you get 4 to q. Right. And then mc is equal to a constant, which is the derivative of this total costing. And then we can solve. So we have, well, we have divided by 4. So it's 15 minus, I mean, we are just setting them equal and divide four to make calculation easier, minus q2 is equal to one. And then rearrange this, we get q2 is equal to, uh, what's that, 14 minus q1 over two. And we call this thing the best response function of firm two. So the question is asking us to solve for the profit function, so it's e easier than solving the whole thing. So the profit is just for firm one, it's just P times Q1 minus 4Q1. And P, we know what P is. P is this thing, Q1 plus, now we know Q2 as well. So we know this thing, we substitute in here. So by the way, the whole thing here is P. P is the, this thing as we calculated before, but we're just substituting Q2. So we have this expression. And this whole thing multiplied by Q1 minus 4Q1. So then what this thing is, yeah, it's, it's a mess. We need to simplify this. Mm, so we have half, um, no, let's deal with the constant first. So we have 60 minus 28 minus 4 times Q1 minus 2 times half. So it cancels out, so it's Q1 squared. And what was this thing? So it's 32, so subtract 28Q1 minus Q1 squared. Let's see, 28Q1 minus Q1 squared. 